All right, so we got 20 streamers caught cheating in these videos about top five gamers. Go to the video. Today we covered 20 streamers Ow. that got caught cheating. And we'll start with Mr. Gold. Who had some Mr. Who? The people accusing him of hacking. Let me see if I recognize any of these. I'm good at the game. Is it the first time you see someone good at the game? Have you ever seen anyone playing like me? It's like, like, seriously. Oh, let well, me see. Could just be the better player. Except oh, brother, the brother, time brother. He's completely unaware his hacking program brother. is open. I mean, Engine Oni? On. Really? Oh, my God, man. What exactly happens when a developer is <gasps> a hacker? Well, a H1 I remember was this. What seemed like a normal game until he attacked an enemy team and they had no idea what was I hitting I remember them. this. Wait, what happened to this guy? It's at this moment he realizes he's been playing with invisibility the entire time. Oh, I think he oh apologized too. I can't believe it. I think yeah, he apologized. You deserve that kill. Thank you. But nothing will top CSGO streamer Miss Q. Oh Gemini, my god. Oh my god. Accused of hacking. She wrote off every single claim in this clip, but would soon regret it. You know what's really sad? That sometimes, you know, because I'm female in Counter Strike, people are like, you're cheating. Seems like a valid point. Until, well, she showed the literal hacking. Girl, menu on you her got, stream. bro, bro. <gasps> Wait, she's, what she's, the a, she's, oh my Clara. god, Clara, Clara. Give me one second. Let me just message this girl. Clara doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> Even though XQC was laughing, that didn't stop him from also cheating. During a Twitch Rivals tournament what? on Fall Guys, he decided to stream snipe Dr. Lupo, and oh. it wasn't long until other streamers realized. No, Dr. Lupo, listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. Doctor, I remember this. Dr. Lupo had people cheating for him. I'm gonna be honest with you. He had, he literally had yeah, people result, cheating XQC for him. He was actually suspended from Twitch for a week, and the icing on the cake, he was banned for six months from Twitch Rivals. And if you thought stream sniping was no, bad, I, you know what? I see why he was stream sniping. During a CSGO oh. tournament, this pro player was doing <laughs> seriously well, almost a little too well. The company running the event decided to check his PC, and that's when he remember knew this. the jig was up. As yeah. he looked at his computer, he Caught. frantically tried to delete it. He, he tried to delete it. Nope. Literally nope. Him back. Remove on his hands. Computer, you could find a single word.exe file, and you could try to yep. pretend it's Microsoft. Word, but come on, it is literally hacked. That man started locking up the aim. The whole team disqualified. Tough. One of the craziest tournament cheats of all time was actually caused by Riot Games. What? In the League of Legends World Championship, Azubu Frost noticed that they could see the audience screen from where they were sitting. They used it to stream snipe the other team and knew exactly where they were for the whole match. Directly what? after TSM accused Frost of cheating and Riot Games immediately investigated, finding the whole them team cheating and disqualifying them from stream sniping at a, at a live tournament is crazy. To being caught cheating was given to a Destiny streamer named I remember named this. Semper. I remember this. pointed out that they could see the hacks on a screen. He did this. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, the screen has the red squares around them. Yeah. Oh my god, no way. After his acting, didn't exactly fool anyone. Semper panicked and ended the stream, but it was too late. It's he too was late. banned from the game. And since it's too then, late, buddy. He has totally disappeared from Twitch. Yeah. So he had the complete opposite happen when he was accused of cheating. A huge I don't think Dream ever cheated. When an investigation claimed that Dream had been using mods to fake Minecraft I don't think he's ever cheated. According to them, his loot drops were just way too lucky, and it involved a lot of math. That Dream originally denied it, but eventually came out and Oh, he accidentally cheated, cheating, yeah. And explained that it was a mix-up with the person who made the software for him. I think that he accidentally cheated, yeah. I'm sorry about that. Made 16 million dollars using FIFA hacks. Oh, wow. FIFA they hacks? So money. Well, in 2013, Anthony Clark and a group of friends developed a program that could generate millions of FIFA coins. It basically tricked the game into thinking that hundreds of matches were being played at the exact same time, and they what? sold these on the black market to coin dealers in the UK and China. For two years, they earned tens of millions of dollars, spending it on mansions, expensive watches, and a lot more. The mastermind, what? Anthony Clark, bought a home for his family to live in and an SUV. These guys were on top of the world, except what they didn't know was that EA employees have been secretly working with the FBI. For the past year, they have been uh -oh. watching the group become millionaires and eventually were ready to strike. Caught in em. four separate states, FBI agents began a raid on the hackers' homes. They seized the house and car Anthony bought for his family, along with a ridiculous Dang. amount of possessions. They also found over four million dollars hiding across 13 bank accounts all four hackers were charged with wire fraud which is a federal crime and while the rest of his friends pleaded guilty anthony clark took it to trial he claimed he was innocent but was found guilty and expected to uh, face 10 years in prison 10 he was pretty years optimistic about his chances of an appeal sadly anthony passed away before that could happen and all the charges were dropped and what do it for the money someone views and that's exactly what Taco okay who cheats in mario 2017 that's when a speed run of super mario bros was uploaded to the channel about a 
Darabon, and it showed Tavo flying through the entire game in just five minutes. Now, it didn't exactly take long for people to become suspicious of this, because in the video, you could see Tavo drinking and eating pizza, which made no sense for a five minute speedrun. Eventually, it was exposed that he had edited another speedrunner's footage over his own, and he apologized. He tried to finesse! But to this day, the video still has six million views. <laughs> I mean, and another YouTuber that got, got six million was views. Jeffers, who was a cyclist who took part in an e racing championship in 2009. E racing? Yeah, it's a video game that you play with a real life bike. In the game, Wait, there's better what? bicycles you can unlock at higher levels. This is so easy to finesse. That he didn't want to earn them. So he used hacks to unlock the fastest bike in the game and ended up winning the entire tournament with it. When he was discovered, the organization fined him, removed his gold medal, and Cameron was banned from the sport. I didn't even know that, that was a thing. Cycling was impossible. Just wait until you hear how Hosty cheated in an online card game. In a $1 million Hearthstone tournament, Hosty used a second monitor to look at the stream and see everyone else's card deck. He what? almost got away with it, but viewers spotted a screen in the reflection behind him and it exposed oh Hosty's cheats to the entire Oh my god. World. But perhaps one of the most infamous hacking moments. This is infamous. This is infamous. This, this, this is this is this is the greatest ever. I don't miss a shot. This is the this is I the I don't miss a shot, bro. Yo, we're cracked. Even though the videos for entertainment purposes, Epic Games yep. wanted to make an example of Jarvis yep. and banned him they permanently. They not planned. Jarvis's apology video became a yep. famous meme, and eventually he accepted his ban and moved on from the game. And in the Warzone community, at least he bounced back from it. Well you know, I respect that. Exposing hackers, one in particular was Mingo Style. After Tommy accused him of cheating, Mingo Style turned on his webcam and then accidentally opened up his mob menu in front of everyone. Oh my! Oh, you're oh, done. Cheats. He put his sheets up. Everyone, clip it quick. Bro, you're done. Messing around, get a grip. No oh, he said he was messing oh around. We got him. Nah, bro, you got caught. You got caught in 6K. You can see it on his face. It was quickly banned from both Warzone and Twitch. Nice to Tough. see cheaters get caught. Yeah, because once you once you cheat on Twitch, you get banned. Yeah, and we're going to see them. You know, they need to start getting. I don't know if you guys know that. Some of them. Players are flexing. Now, cheating doesn't always mean hacking, and that's exactly the case for Marky, who experienced the strangest bug when playing a Fortnite tournament. Let me see. Let me see this bug. Well, what? Well, he can't die. Uh, wait, Even he though this wasn't his fault, security still asked him to leave. Oh. He refused to stop playing, but was disqualified from the tournament in the end. And sometimes even the best players. Was that? I mean, but was that his fault though? Flexify was the second highest ranked Vanguard player in the entire I don't think that was his fault. But his whole career came crashing down when he <gasps> accidentally exposed that he was using hacks while streaming. Caught. The cheats were only Caught. to unlock camos, but the community Caught. weren't exactly convinced, especially nah. with his spot on the leaderboard. Mod menus have exposed cheaters countless times, but something even better is when they're tricked into using fake hacks. A programmer Wait, grew tired of cheaters and decided to have his own fun. He used his knowledge to make a fake hacking software and published it online, but anyone who downloaded it would get the exact opposite of what they were looking for. Oh, you so start lagging out crazy. Mild inconveniences like posting their location to chat or making them hear fake footsteps to scare them. This developer is way too powerful. <laughs> Somebody needs to give this guy an award. That's smart. Sometimes I like that. That's the smart. The only one celebrating the downfall of hackers. Two pro players named Ziff and Ronaldo were caught cheating during the four- Wait, Ronaldo? Fight. People started to notice that they were killing their friends over and over again for a ridiculous amount of points. Despite the pair being banned for two weeks, they still qualified- Oh, it's a different Ronaldo. ...and earned over $100,000. But when the cheaters died, during the tournament, the audience responded like this. They start cheering. They start cheering. Nice. Nice. That's nice. That's that's literally karma. Getting away with hacking is a hard uh -oh. thing to accomplish, and that's why uh -oh. Super Fast Jellyfish had no intentions of <gasps> I remember this blindfold the playthrough of Super Mario 64. <laughs> he managed to do it effortlessly in just 42 minutes, leaving I a lot of viewers this. suspicious. So they asked him to use a blanket instead, to which he replied, uh no. In the end, he was absolutely found cheating. Has been pretty of much course. kicked out of the speedrunning community. And those are twenty cheaters who got caught. Oh in the man! Guys Shout out to Top Five Gaming. Shout out to Top Five Gaming for the video, bro. Some of these cheers, especially oh my god, especially <laughs> especially the Clara. Cla I knew this girl should have used my computer. <laughs> That is the most infamous one, bro. That's like the greatest cheating clip ever. It's Clara, Clara. Man, I, let me call this girl up right now. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys later for the next one about. Um,